Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My day is going well. Just cold over here in California again, like I say. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're over here with our really warm sweatshirts, our covers, and sometimes don't even want to get out of bed because it's that cold. <laughs> so, you know, we're drinking our hot chocolate or coffee with our little bread. You know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to keep it warm status. But I hope you guys are doing well and had a wonderful day. And don't worry, guys. If you guys are feeling lonely, going through struggles, remember the Lord is always with you. And like I always tell you guys, please and thank you. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to pray for you, your situation, or anything going on in your life. So I will gladly pray for you, your family, or whatever the situation is. Just let me know in the comments down below and I will do it. Please and thank you. Don't forget to check out the saved one. She is an inspirational, straight out of the Bible verse um, quote. And all she says them in Spanish and English. And also she does Christian poetry. Very lovely and inspiring. You guys should go check her out. Also, Eden Uncut, she's a gaming channel so go check out her games you know or for those of you guys how it works you know if you like games and stuff <laughs> but um that's about it that i had to say so let's get into our quotes and like i always tell you guys if i'm a little slow i'm sorry or if i mess up my reading <laughs> i write too fast and it's because i write them fresh so i wrote them before i make the video you know you know what i mean i like i like to be like that because i like to choose fresh quotes for you guys and for myself, the ones that I really think I like and I think that have a great meaning, which they all do. They're all beautiful. The word, the word of the Lord is always wonderful everywhere and all times, you know. But um, anyways, so number one, it says, My spirit remaineth among you. Fear ye not. Haggai 2.5 and I like it very much because the Lord is telling us that His Spirit remains among us, you know? And that we shouldn't fear at all, or ever. I know we're flesh and bones, you know, and we fear. And also we have our souls, and you know, we're fearful. But right here the Lord is telling us, you know, not to fear. In other words, you know, because His Spirit is with us. And um, that's why I chose this quote. I really like it. Number two, it says, The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Proverbs 12, 18. And I chose it because obviously I put this one up on my Instagram. I really like it because it's like bullying, you know. Like somebody bullying someone. You're saying negativity. They're, you're slowly crushing their spirits, their, your, their souls, their heart, you know. Making people feel very upset, you know. And I don't think we should do that. We should be the light instead of the darkness, you know, you know what I mean? We should bring each other up with videos like this or and other type of inspiring comments or ways, you know, to help your brother and sister. Because that's what the Lord wants, you know. He doesn't want us to be negative to one another. He wants us to be positive and love towards one another. Just like He's love. So that's why I chose it. But, um, yeah, you know, if there's bullying out there, you know, please stop it, guys, you know. And I'm not saying to my channel or, you know, to other channels, you know, or to kids, you know, out there. Anybody really going through something bad like, you know, bullying strikes their lives and sometimes it ends in, you know, people taking their lives and that's just really sad, you know. I don't think, you know, we should do that. We should really stop the bullying, you know. I really think that we should just be the light and be very positive to one another, show each other love. But um, that was my little rant for this one and I really loved it, that's why I chose it. Um, and this one for number three it says the heavens proclaim the glory of God the skies display his craftsmanship Psalm 19 1 and to me this one I like it because the, the the skies and the heavens always proclaim the glory of God you know they always proclaim his name and his craftsmanship and to me this sounds like it's saying you know that 
with, when we look at the skies, it's, it's, you know, showing us the beauty that he created. He created you and I and this whole world, including the earth and the skies and the heavens, you know? So that's why I chose these quotes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, like I tell you guys, if you guys want me to pray for you, any situation you have, let me know in the comments down below and I will do it. Also, please and thank you, don't forget to check out those channels. And please and thank you, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, you know, and spread the love, you know. Show everybody these videos because it's to uplift you and I. And like I said, if you guys need any prayers, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I will do it. And I also forgot to mention what date this video is for. So it's for today, 12 4 20. <laughs> but um yeah guys all right let me see my little notes what i would like to pray for today sorry if i'm a little hush hush you know what i mean i gotta read my notes because i always write something that i would like to pray for you know what i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay very lovely very lovely day, but right now it's ending cold. <laughs> Everybody should stay warm. And if it's day on the other side of the world, God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> but alright, let's get into our prayer. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we, I would like to pray and say that we all love you, praise you, and adore you. Thank you for existing, my Lord. Thank you for letting your son die on the cross for us father i still can't forget the day father that you've accepted me and it was by letting your son die on the cross for us all father thank you for forgiving our sins thank you for giving us another chance of life father i would also like to pray and say to please and thank you father help everybody going through scams father if there's somebody out there evil trying to scam someone father get rid of that evil person from people's lives because right now we all need help father we don't need no negativity nor scams nor bullying father to send all that to the depths of hell where it belongs in the name of jesus christ father Please and thank you, my Lord, also help the women out there going through cancer and terminal issues. And I don't mean just women, anybody, Father, anybody in the world going through terminal sicknesses or illnesses that they're telling they only got a few days or a few months of life, Father. If you really wanted to, you could not let that happen and you could give them eternal life, Father. And if it's your time to take them, Father, well, you'll meet them over there and bless their lives. But I also like to pray and say, Father, please and thank you, help the children, the women, anybody right now at this point in time being abused. Please stop those abusers and let them remember there's a God watching over everything. And let them repent and come to you. And that's the abusers, Father, the people being abused, Father. Please, Father, help these souls, hug them, let them know that they're not alone and that you're with them. Please and thank you, help, Father, everybody who's going through rent, eviction, money struggles, Father. Please and thank you, help every single one of us, Father, with our situations. Because I know we don't feel you sometimes and we feel depression and anxiety and stress. But, Father, get rid of it because deep down we know that you're here. Your word says that you're always here no matter what, watching over us. And you always send your beautiful angels to protect us. And we thank you for that, my Lord. Also, please and thank you, help, Father, everybody out there with COVID-19 or any other sickness that's keeping them in bed, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, please heal everybody going through any sickness. Take that away and descend it to hell, Father. And for your church, I see that a lot of our church is going through struggles your sons and daughters please help us father because i know you're with us and we're gonna beat this battle and we're gonna win in the name of jesus christ because you are our king and savior and nobody will ever defeat you my lord thank you for being with us my lord we love you we praise you and we adore you father please and thank you take care of us in all times 
and let us have a wonderful day and a wonderful time. Please and thank you, guide these dead corpses, Father, to get to you till the end of times, because we need your Holy Spirit to guide us always to you, and to always walk in your right path. Thank you for everything else, my Lord. We love you, we praise you, and we adore you. Amen. But yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoy these videos, you know. I make them, you know, pretty much to help you and I, you know. And like I always tell you guys, and I'm going to repeat it over 5 million times if I have to. If you guys need any prayers, you know, please don't feel shy. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will pray for you, your situation, or whatever it is you would like me to pray for, you know. But alright guys, much love and respect. Again, once again, don't forget to check out The Saved One, another Christian channel, and Eden Uncut, another gaming channel. Alright guys, much love and respect. Take care.